Yes, I'm keen. This is gonna be so much cool. So much cool. So much fun. This is gonna be so much fun and so cool. That was what I was meant to say. Wow, okay, we're up close today. I changed my camera lens and it's a 50mm fixed lens and... Is this too close? Okay, hold on, wait. Okay, hopefully that is a little better. <laughs> we're not so framed in on my face. I was just worried that the surprise wouldn't fit in the frame. And as you guys can tell by the name of the title, this is the surprise. It is a DIY paint by numbers. I went on a giant art haul the other day, and if you haven't seen that video, just click up one of these somewhere here. Anyway, and I haven't done a paint by numbers in years. I think the last time I did it, I was probably in primary school or like six years old. I don't know. So I saw this thing and I was like, oh my goodness, Han, you have got to try this. I'm so excited. Okay. Right. Sure. That's hectic. Hope you guys enjoy watching this process video of an artist trying to do a paint by numbers. I just felt it would like, I don't know, it's like bringing my childhood back. <laughs> Jokes. Anyway, um, hmm, enjoy. So as we go into this paint by numbers, I can't believe I did this, but I actually wanted to try using the brushes that they gave me. And one of them had like a loose strand on it, so I actually had to get my scissors and cut it. And that was even before I'd even started the painting, but anyway, uh, it was quite an experience and it was good fun. So let's begin. So I started off by going from top to bottom, left to right, and I say started because I did not stick with that at all. I like to paint around the canvas all the time. I just get bored if I'm always stuck in one place and moving across, like I like to jump around, but anyway. So I started, I think I started with like number 19 or something. I can't remember. Or 20. I know. I think it was... I don't even know. Anyway, I was jumping around with quite a few of the different colours, just working on the sky, and I decided to do the sky first. Reason for this is because it obviously occupied a lot of the space, and I really wanted to get that done first and out of the way. Anyway, I ran out of space on my memory card, because I need to get a new memory card that has a lot bigger, more storage. Anyway, and it was late at night, so I carried on painting, and that's why there was such a jump in the sky being completed. So I did this painting over a couple of different days, because I only film my YouTube videos at night. And so by the time I put half of the stuff down most of the time, it's really late. I gave up with those paintbrushes, because they were not working. It was such a struggle. The brushes were really, um, what's the word? They just flopped all over the canvas and went everywhere that I didn't want them to go and so it was just impossible to paint with them. Jo, please can give me a glass of water. For drinking. For drinking. Thank you. For drinking, please. Not cool. <laughs> What's not cool? Oh, I said so restricting. I'm not even staying in the lines. <laughs> I know, I saw that. I wouldn't even. I can say with confidence that I don't like this. <laughs> it's definitely testing my patience. It's just so restricting. It's like a brain teaser trying to find all these numbers. They keep putting the t number 12 and number 21 next to each other and I keep painting one or the other. <laughs> But I will persevere. Just paint by numbers. Oh, is it? Yeah, because you like you put down little shapes of colour and paint, and then you've got to just stop. Yeah. And usually, I would do like a whole like base layer, and then fill in my colours on top of the under the base coats. But now you're building it up colour by colour without laying down a foundation colour. So it's very different. So as you guys can hear, I was kind of complaining to my family as I was going along. It was just, it's such a different way of painting. So usually I would do, I don't know if you've seen in my paint with me videos, I will do like a general whole base coat layer of blocking in all the colors throughout the entire canvas and getting rid of all of the white. 
And then after I've laid down all my base layers, I will go on top and add detail on top of all the base layers. So I would never really paint color by color and then put them next to each other. Another thing with this is it does make it look a lot more blocky and you don't really shade or mix the colors together too much. And so you're not really blending one color into the other like I would usually paint if I was doing a normal painting. But at the same time, it is a different style and it does look really cool. You'll see in the end result. Again, this is not necessarily how I usually tackle a painting. But again, this has been such a cool learning curve. I've learned a lot about patience as well. Like, oh my goodness, I've learned to... <sighs> I've learned over this week that I, I just need to to chill and focus and paint all these tiny things. As I said earlier, they, <laughs> I did not stay in the lines for this painting, but it's okay, it's my painting. I had fun, although it was a bit frustrating at times, I actually really enjoyed this process. Okay, so now coming up to the halfway point or just past the halfway point, I decided to flip the canvas, turn it around, put it on its head because you guys would have struggled to see me painting the bottom. But also it is nice just to have a change of, I don't want to say scenery, but a change of view, a change of how I'm looking at it. So um, yeah, yeah that, that was kind of nice. The only thing then was I was reading all these numbers upside down and it was confusing me so much because I was doing number 13 and then I kept reading number 31, but there was no number 31. So I was just getting so confused. So I had to really concentrate on what number I was actually reading right side up, but upside down, obviously. So it was really funny. And now we are entering the final, 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 final stages, which I started getting really excited about because I had spent a few nights on this just doing it in my free time and relaxing and I was actually really excited for it to be over. Um, just because these tiny little shapes are so small, it's ridiculous. Anyway, as I'm finishing off now, I was just doing some secondary layers as the paint was quite thin in some of the lighter colours, but I went and then made them more opaque. It's done. Ah, it's done. I'm so happy. <laughs> it took forever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. This is it. The finished artwork.